Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we will talk about uh, semester second assignment for the subject business law and this is for the September 2023 cycle. So this is not applicable for all the students, uh, only those students uh, who either uh, got copy case in their June cycle or might be they have not uh, given or submitted the assignments uh, in the June cycle. Only for those students uh, uh, this cycle is applicable. Uh, and uh, not all the students will be able to view this particular uh, assignment on their portal. Only those students who are liable to submit this assignment can view it, uh, can view the PDF file on their portal. So firstly, we will just show the PDF file. So this is the business law assignment. Uh, it's applicable for September 2023 cycle. And it's a similar one to the June cycle or the one which you had done in the first semester which comprises of the three questions for second, third year and third B and each question is of 10, 10 marks. So the world limit uh, comes around 1000 words. Business law is a completely theoretical subject. So in this you can easily write 1000 words. So make sure you won't exceed 1000 or 1100 words. Otherwise uh, you will lose, uh, lose some marks. And uh, uh, been uh, many things are directly uh, provided in the book. Uh, so you need to read the sentences and write it down in your own words. So let's see what page numbers to refer, what uh, content to be written in each question. So let's jump to the first question. The first question says, please explain the different rights of the consumer with special, emph special emphasis on the rights introduced under the Consumer Protection Act 2019, right? So we need to talk about uh, the Consumer Protection Act. We need to talk about uh, the consumer rights. Then we need to uh, relate both of the things and we need to specify the different consumer rights uh, uh, with reference to the Consumer Protection Act 2019. With page numbers to refer, so jump to the page number 243 and 260. So if we go to the page number 243, so 243 says about the Consumer Protection Act 2019, you just give a brief about what is Consumer Protection Act all about. It, it will cover 150 or 200 words and after that you need to jump to the page number 263 where it's mentioned, uh, it's page number 263, I am just searching uh, Consumer Protection Act, uh, I think I just miswritten it. It should be like this, might be, it's 260, uh, maybe 263, so uh, maybe page number 263, wait, okay, Consumer Protection Act, uh, no, it's sorry, oh, my bad, it's, it's 260 page number, yeah. So here it's mentioned right of a consumer. So firstly, just, they are just talking about uh, the basic four rights, which includes right to safety, right to be informed, right to choose and right to be heard. Then after that, uh, in 1985, uh, United Nations added four more rights like right to satisfaction, right to redress, right to consumer education, right to a healthy environment. So these are the general aspects of a consumer rights. After that, we need to specify the Consumer Protection Act 2019 Consumer Rights, where they mentioned the five new rights. The first one is right to file a consumer complaint anywhere, right to get compensation for the product liability, right to present a case via video conferencing, right to file a complaint against unfair conduct contract, and right to know the reason for complaint rejection. So these are the five new uh, rights which are being added in the Consumer Protection Act 2019. So in this way, you need to cover all the different things like what is Consumer Protection Act, what are the different general rights and UN rights and then you need to specify with respect to the Consumer Protection Act. So in this way, you need to write your first answer. Now going to the second question, please explain any two types of intellectual property rights and provide an example of each of the intellectual property right. Kindly note that the example should be real life cases. So we need to talk about the IPR, what is IPR, then we need to discuss about uh, uh, different types of IPR, you just give a brief and then you need to uh, specify any two IPR in detail with a example uh, related to your any real life example or maybe anything which you have seen in your real life or maybe in your company.
so everything is mentioned on the page number 162 so 162 is a broader term like it says about the ipr so you need to give okay what is ipr what are intellectual property rights uh, then it's mentioned that it's been categorized into three types one is copyright second is industrial uh, industrial property third one is soft intellectual property in uh, industrial property we are having four different categories one is patents then second is geographic indicators third is trademarks and the fourth one is design so you can choose any one any two of these like maybe you can choose patents patents and trademarks are quite relatable and uh, you have heard these terms uh, uh, quite often so you can use patents and trademarks or maybe as uh, per your convenience so here it's mentioned the detail like the commercial significance of ipr that's not mandatory but if you want to write you can write then we need to talk about like see if you talk about if you want to write you can give just two or three lines of this and after that you can just jump to the different types like the patents if you want to give a detail then you just need to talk about the what are the different elements need of protection period of protection and the authority otherwise you can just skip this part after that it comes about the trademarks i think uh, it's coming as trademarks then the same things will follow for the trademarks then after that it's a trade secrets you can specify about the trade secret geographical indicators then it comes uh, the biodiversity law then then this is about the ip and then impact of ip is not needed right and if you want to give examples uh, it's mentioned here and there or you can just get directly google out to just find it out few of the examples you just simply type the what are the trademark examples or you can just say about the patent examples you can find numerous examples and you can just need to formulate the things in your own words uh so first and second question it's clear now jumping to our question third a so in third we are having two parts third a and third b so you need not to write answer 3 you need to give some introduction then 3 and 3b no it's not like that you just simply write answer 3a and then answer 3b so third is basically a combination so uh, they are given some case study after that they just split it into third a and third b so let's talk about that case study samiksha wants to start a new organization that will have a chain of pet saloons in india she is starting to start the organization all by herself as an owner she needs clarity on setting up the organization and has raised few queries kindly advice what are the different unincorporated and incorporated forms of organization please explain each of them so uh, you are clear with the case study like a person wants to start like some issue in this case wants to start up a saloon and she are having few doubts the third day talks about the unincorporated incorporated forms of organization uh, so going to the page number 101 here it's clearly mentioned and incorporated incorporated make sure this is of 500 words so just stick to the words don't write excessive don't think that it's uh, you need to write 1000 words just write about around 500 words or 550 words right you need to talk about what are the incorporated incorporated forms then we are talking about the four different types of uh, uh, incorporated businesses sole proprietorship partnership huf and the joint stock right so being it's a short answer just you need to talk about what is sole proprietorship just write four five liners after that uh, no need to write advantage disadvantages partnership give a brief what are the partnership additionally if you want to give the feature just just give these bullet lines or the highlighters to it then after that uh, types of partnership it's not required then partnership deed and its content it's also not required changes is not required type of partner is not required so you just need to write uh, explicit and implicit partner that's again not much needed right then it comes the llp you need to write about the llp what is llp agreement you can just skip this part and it comes about the huf so you need to brief about what is huf if you want to give you can just write one or two characteristics of it right so in this way uh, there are few others like uh, co-parents success of a huf if you if you see that you are having less words and you need to add more you can but i think that will cover uh, more than 500 words right so just give a brief of all these four pointers and it's done for the third answer then moving to the third b question uh, she intends to use bubri as the name of the organization she wants to know how she can claim intellectual properties for the name 
प्लीज एक्सप्लेन द टाइप ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी और प्रॉपर्टीज टेन कैन बी क्लेम एंड द प्रोसीजर ऑफ रजिस्ट्रिंग इट सो इफ यू इफ यू सी हेयर शी वॉन्ट्स टू स्टार्ट हर सैलून वेयर शी वॉन्ट्स टू गिव द नेम लाइक द बुबरी लाइक यू सी देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ सैलून रनिंग इन इंडिया एंड मैनी ऑफ दैम आर लाइक द जावेद हबीब्स एंड द फ्यू अदर्स हैव गिवन देयर नेम्स राइट लाइक इफ आई जस्ट राइट ए बी सी यूनिसेक्स सैलून देन आई जस्ट आई कैन जस्ट सिंपली पेटेंट इट ऑन ट्रेड मार्केट ऑन माई नेम राइट सो दिस इज द वे हाउ यू कैन डू सो वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट द ट्रेड मार्क्स लाइक इफ आई गो टू द पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी टू सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस देन फर्स्टली वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट ओके यू कैन जस्ट गिव ओके वट इज इंटलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट यू कैन जस्ट गिव अ ब्रीफ नॉट नीड टू राइट मच इन डिटेल एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द ट्रेड मार्क्स सो आई एम जस्ट डायरेक्टली गोइंग टू द नॉट पेटेंट्स सी मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग मी दैट डू वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट द पेटेंट्स और इट्स अ कॉपी राइट और इट्स अ ट्रेड मार्क्स सो इफ इफ यू हैव सीन द नेम like the trademark so trademark is uh, uh, simply the name or the symbol which you can use so in this case uh, uh, you need to use uh, uh, the word as a trademark right uh, like uh, if you talk about the size and scissors and others they have given some trademarks to there and i can't use that word uh, uh, for starting up my business so trademark is the name of the symbol you can define the identity of your product or the service right here in this case you are providing the saloon services so it comes under the category of services then we need to talk about the, we we are just giving up brief details of trademark all about then we are talking about the certain elements uh, uh, what's the period of protection and finally about the authority so in this way you can just mention about the trademark in the third b question so i think uh, uh, in terms of uh, business law the questions are pretty straight forward and most of the stuff you can just find on the internet still if you have any doubts or facing any issue any challenge you are not clear with any question from this subject or any other subject uh, just feel free to just uh, uh, drop your query along with your contact number to my email id ngsc.mbi@gmail.com and uh, if you like this video do like uh, do comment uh, and uh, just stay tuned to my channel for other videos for other subject assignments thank you so much